This is a really fast tutorial on how to use the Blender BIM animation tools. So go to File, Import, Industry Foundation Classes, locate your file, click on Load Project. You can find this file in the description or in the link below. If you don't have a schedule to load, you can also find one. So let's go to File, Import, I choose P6XML because that's what I have, but we also support P6XER, Power Project for Asta and Microsoft Project. So let's click on that, locating our file again, press import P6, go to scene properties, scroll all the way down to IFC work plans, IFC work schedules and IFC calendars. Amazing, we even have resources. Did you know that a work plan can aggregate work schedules? Great, I don't like the name of these work schedules, so I'm gonna change it to my first work schedule. See how easy it is to edit attributes? You can now see all the tasks that we have in here. So let's scroll down again, make this bigger, and now, Press on show column UI, take the IFC task time, add the schedule start, press on plus, schedule finish, plus again, schedule duration, plus, and here we have the information, the basic information we need. Let's press on this again to hide it. Now let's calculate all of this and click on the little Gantt chart icon. What do we have? An amazing Gantt chart. Let's close this. Now let's replace the outliner with another properties panel. In here we'll go to scene and go to IFC search. Good like that. Now let's select everything. Click on active IC tab filter. Let's deselect everything and take just our beams. Press OK. Unfortunately, I seem to have also taken the camera, so let's remove the camera, the oops, the light, and also this cube. What do we have left? If we press on forward slash, we only have beans. Perfect. Now, if we scroll down and find the relevant task, for, and I'll choose ground floor beam just randomly, and if I now make this smaller and look for IFC task, I can add these as an output because a task is a process. And what is the output of this process? It's building these beams. All right, so next we could search for IFC wall. But before clicking on the search button, let's click on empty space. So IFC wall returns all these walls. Let's press on the Y here to show an elevation. Let's press on Control and deselect everything we see above the ground floor. And for that, we'll go to ground floor walls and add it to this task. Perfect. There are smarter ways to search for elements, specifically by looking at attributes and property sets. So in order to do that, I recommend you watch the IFC search video that is released on this channel. Once you finish assigning all these objects to the relevant tasks, come back here and let's see how we can run the visualization. Right, so let's make a few checks before we proceed to the visualization. So if we click on a task here, and then on this icon, we see everything that has been assigned to this task. All right, these beams. The next one, we have some slabs. Let's see, it is indeed these slabs. Okay, we have some ground floor columns, which are actually all the columns of my project. What we could do is click on visualization icon, which is a fun one. And let's choose a start date from the 14th of June, 14th of June 2021 to the 6th 
of October 2021. Let's then choose our rhythm. Let's take the frame based one. So for 24 frames per second, which is what I have in my blender settings here for one week or duration based one second for one week, which is a pretty good rhythm. Let's click on the camera, press on the space key. And here we find our objects being constructed. You can see I have a really bad schedule, but you get the point. Now let's unzoom and press Ctrl Alt Zero. Let's press Shift tilde and start navigating. Let's zoom a bit more here and make this a tad bit bigger. Great, we have a great thing here. We had a light that we didn't delete. Let's put it up a bit and change its settings to sun and we'll put it as two. Now let's click on Shift A and add a plane. Press S and increase this. Let's press Shift tilde again and zoom on this. Perfect. Now we could render the animation depending on the settings that we have. And there are plenty of videos explaining that already for EV in cycles. Let's see what we got. We have our villa being constructed. 